Hello Scott String Players, I'm Jo and I usually take the string orchestras on the course. We're going to look at the first and second violin parts for Pomp and Circumstance 4. We're not going to play the whole thing, there's an audio track on the website for you to do that with. We're just going to point out some things that are going to come up. You can stop this video at any point and try something out in your own time. You should always warm up before you play. Some of my favourites are using the motions you're going to be using. So you can do that for a little while, speed it up. And then you're going to be using the wrists. You're going to be using the elbow joints and you're going to be using the shoulder joints as well. Ignore my bowing today, I've got a, a shoulder injury which means I'm doing this. Don't do that. Keep your shoulders nice and down. Take a breath in and relax them. Okay. Here's an A for you. So, <clears throat> letter A. Allegro marziale, fast and martial or military, like a march. Think of it. Left, right, left. you have that at A as well. We're linking our bowing. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. In this piece you can divisi, which means divide the parts up. If there are two notes and you don't want to play them both, just pick one. You can play them both if you want. Violins, your part at A. It's the same bowing. Beginning for first violins, you've got these pizzas. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. You can play all the notes if you want, or you can play one or two. So you could go two, one, just playing the top like that. For pits, both parts, when we learn pits we usually grab the bow, we can have the thumb, or we can grab the bow and have a free hand. If you can, try the professional way, which is normal bow hold, don't change anything at all, don't change the thumb, stick out your first finger and just pluck that way. So that means you're really quick to get back and forward. Okay, <clears throat> letter B. Five bars after B we all have grace notes. First violin. You don't have to do them, you could leave them out. Um, but put them in if you can. That was a bit of the second violin there. Um, these little arpeggios, they come up all over the place. etc. Slow practice for these so you can really see what the notes are. Then speed it up. Ah. 
him. Moving on to letter D. First violins, you've got a high passage here. There's a fingering on your music. You don't have to use it, but it's there if you want it. So starting two bars before D. Third. Fifth. Third again. First. So stuck together. to letter G. This is the big tune, but it's not loud. It's soft. Second violins. Just small strokes. Stopping on the string. They're not, they're not bounce ones. Nobilmente. We think Elgar made up this word himself. He was English, not Italian. And it means noble. So think of feeling very royal there. First violins, your tune at G. It says sol G, which means you should stay on the G string. I haven't put a fingering on it, so if you want to do that, you'll have to work one out, but you don't have to do it on the G string. If you did, sound to it, a, a, a more sort of closed in sound. Um, and professionals would go back to the A string at bar 95. They wouldn't go up there. Um, okay, but then at letter J everybody gets much louder, the tune blossoms out. So second violins, um, you could do all of the notes in the chords. But what's often done is you do two out of the three, for example. Or the bottom tune. Um, first violins, uh, your tune at G, lots of bow. To letter M. Now you notice we changed key at letter G, we lost the F sharp. At letter M we get it back and basically we're recycling the music after that. So you've seen all this before. You each have little runs, second violins you've got more of them, for example at bar 174, which is just before P. Fret about it, it's just a scale. Make sure you get the bottom note and the top note. So, if you like, or just all those scales you practice, just let the, the hand just lay the fingers on. First violins, you've just got one of them, I think. Um, so, bottom and top notes. So, when you're playing, Susie will be conducting. And you take your style cue from her. She will show you where it's loud, where it's soft, where it's tender, where it's heart on sleeve. And that's really what it's all about. That's the most important thing. So enjoy playing along with her and all of us on Saturday. See you then.